This video will cover the topic, evaluating an expression with a negative exponent, negative integer base. What's the difference between a positive and negative exponent? Great question. The biggest difference between a positive and a negative exponent is that with a negative exponent, we need to move both the base of the exponent and the exponent to the denominator in order to convert the exponent to a positive. If the negative exponent was located in the denominator, then we would move both the base and exponent to the numerator in order to make the exponent a positive. Let's work on our first example problem to figure out how this process works. For this specific topic, we'll be using negative numbers as our bases. Our first example problem will be negative 9 to the power of negative 1. In this problem, our exponent is negative 1. To change the exponent to a positive, what step would we have to perform first? Move the integer and the exponent to the denominator? Exactly! This results in 1 over negative 9. We do not need to change the sign of the integer since we were only moving it from the numerator to the denominator. Would there be an instance where we would need to change the sign of the integer? We do not change the sign when moving an integer with a negative exponent to the other side of the fraction. We only change the sign depending on what the value of the exponent is. Let's look at our next example to elaborate further. Negative 8 to the power of negative 2. We start this problem off by moving our integer and exponent to the denominator. This results in 1 over negative 8 to the power of 2. Now we need to simplify our expression. We do this by taking negative 8 to the power of 2, which results in 1 over 64. Notice that the sign only changed because we took our negative 8 to the power of 2. We did not change the sign when we moved our base and exponent to the denominator. I think I'm starting to understand the concept of the topic, but let me summarize just to make sure. When evaluating an expression with a negative exponent, if the negative exponent is in the denominator, then we would move it to the numerator in order to make it positive. If the negative exponent was located in the numerator, then we would move both the base and the exponent to the denominator in order to make it a positive. We also only change signs depending on the value of the exponent. Great job! It seems like you have an understanding on how to evaluate an expression with a negative exponent, negative integer base.